So this is a, a, a true physics simulation of BFR uh, re-entering. So it, it is mostly just <clears throat> coming in like this. Um, at, at a very high angle of attack. Um, in fact, one of the things that for the general public is a tricky thing to understand is that orbit means you are zooming around the Earth at a very high speed. Uh, people, it's slightly, it's counterintuitive where people think perhaps um, once you get to a certain altitude, gravity turns off. This is not the case. Um, in order to go up and stay up, you have to move around the Earth at approximately 25 times the speed of sound. So in fact, the space station is circling the Earth every 90 minutes. This is a very important concept to understand, that orbit is, a, is entirely about your speed horizontal to the ground or parallel to the ground. It is, it is going up and staying up is it, the only reason you need altitude at all is to get out of atmospheric drag. So if Earth didn't have an atmosphere, you could orbit one meter or like 3.28 feet above the ground, no problem. Uh, well, be a little dodgy, but it's technically possible. Um, so, so yeah, if you, if you looked at that um, simulation, um, it might be worth playing that again, actually. <laughs> so, you can see it's basically coming in, if, if this is the Earth, if this stage is the Earth, it's coming in like that. And, and it's just using its entire body to break. And, and it's, it's, it sort of goes like that and slows down, and, it, and then it falls like a skydiver. And, and then it rights itself, um, fires the engine, and lands on the fins. I mean, this will look really epic in person. I mean, it looks like guaranteed to be exciting. And you can see it's sort of falling, falling body first for quite a while. And it's re really quite, quite gentle. You're just sort of falling at terminal velocity for, for quite a long time. Very gentle fall, just sort of like floating down. And then it rights itself at the end, fires the engines and lands. It's, it's very counterintuitive. It's not like anything that people are familiar with. It's not like an airplane. Or, yeah. Hmm. And then, obviously, if, if you're landing on the moon, um, you don't need any aerodynamic surfaces at all uh, because you just, there's no, there's no air. Um, you just need thrusters.